now arriving at Kabul International Airport. Today's mission, transport 120 Afghan soldiers to and from leave. But this isn't your typical airline. This is Inshallah Airlines, the clever nickname for the coalition-operated Special Leave Transportation Program, or SALT-P. It is an honor to travel with you today. The purpose of the program is to allow members to go home on leave in the safest, most efficient way possible, and that's through air travel, and that's what we do uh, every day, twice a day. SALT-P fixes shortcomings in the Afghan leave program. Its 300,000 or so soldiers had only ground transport available for travel, which is slow and dangerous. Just like in our military, we have leave, we have programs to move people around if they're sick, TDY, if they have to go home and see their family on emergency leave. We didn't have anything even close to that before that. The cost of not having such a program was staggering. Many of the soldiers just walk right off the battlefield because they can't go home. When they actually go on leave, they're very happy that they can actually go home out of the battle zone, come back home, relax, recuperate for 10 or 30 days and go back in with a better attitude and go back in with a clear mind. Today's SALT-P program transports about 100,000 soldiers a year, or about one-third of the entire force. Thanks to its existence, Inshallah Airlines is seeing a lot of repeat customers. It's been said that SALT-P lowers the attrition rates with about 60 people uh, a week. Uh, it has impact and it is a reason that there is less attrition. And who knows, one of those 60 people a week may be on the other side of the ticket counter someday. We are now working on the, the transition from the Christian force, Forces led uh, SOLP program to the Afghan uh, led uh, SOLP. We started small. The ANA is now on the level which we expected and what we planned for. As with much of the coalition force, Salt P is not only focusing on operating, but handing over the controls to its aircraft. How do we mentor someone that's never done this before? We know how we can do it, and that's how we mobilize planes now and use these assets. Every week we're mentoring, we're trying to teach them how to plan, how to schedule aircraft, and then how to mobilize them into an efficient way. They're very receptive, they're taking this on, they have lots of initiative, and I see good things for this, for the future. One thing they can certainly improve on is the entertainment on board. No in-flight movies, not this one. Maybe in the future. From Kabul, Afghanistan, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Alex Farver.